Hi guys, I'm Smita and welcome back to my channel where I talk about all things AI and machine learning related. In today's video, I want to talk about the top five tech skills that you guys should learn in 2022. A lot of things have been happening in tech in just the last one year and a lot of changes have been made to the industry. So I think likewise, you guys should also be adapting to how the industry has been changing and learning a lot of the skills which are highly in demand now. A lot of the skills that I'm going to be mentioning in this video are not necessarily the most easiest to learn, but I truly believe that if you, if you pick up one of these skills, you're actually going to be building the infrastructure of the future. So it's very important that if you want to play a part in the infrastructure of the future, it's so important that you guys actually learn one of these skills. Before we get started with the video, my team and I at metacent.io are planning on launching our crypto token very, very soon. And to celebrate this amazing news, we are starting a $10,000 giveaway for you guys. The rules for this giveaway are really simple, so make sure to check it out in the description box below. Make sure to be subscribed to my YouTube channel and also follow metacent.io on all of its social links in order to enter. With that being said, let's get started with today's video. Now, speaking about crypto, the very first skill on my list of skills that you guys should be learning in 2022 is blockchain development. Now, when it comes to blockchain and crypto, it is definitely here to stay. In fact, if anything, we have learned anything in the last one year, it's only that Crypto and blockchain are just going to be more and more integrated into our daily lives. So it's very important that there are developers who are able to build blockchain uh, applications and also decentralized applications on the blockchain. Blockchain developers are highly in demand and there are a couple of skills and frameworks which are extremely common. And if you are planning on learning blockchain development, you should definitely learn these. So the first thing is you should have a very general and good understanding of blockchain consensus algorithms like such as proof of work, proof of stake, proof of elapsed time, etc. And also it's really important that you know programming languages such as Solidity. Now Solidity is a programming language which is used throughout blockchain development. So this is a very important programming language to learn. Let's take a look at this job description for a smart contract engineer at a quant crypto firm. So the responsibilities for a smart contract engineer is someone who is able to make high level decisions about architecture and features for web three smart contract development, uh, integrate, test and design protocols and updates and additions collaborate with full stack and front end developers to bring product to life, etc. And also let's look at some of the qualifications that a smart contract engineer should be having, you know, proven experience interacting with the EVM and writing high quality, well-tested solidity. So EVM stands for Ethereum virtual machine. So essentially being able to build applications on the Ethereum blockchain, that's what they're looking for and also having knowledge of the Solidity programming language. Experience with GraphQL and building subgraphs, deep understanding of the EVM, Solidity and JavaScript, and knowledge about smart contract security and best practices. Skill number two, which you guys should be learning in 2022 is machine learning and data science. I talk a lot about machine learning on this channel and I've also recently created an entire machine learning roadmap for 2022. So check that out. It will be in the description box below, but in general, machine learning is something which is being adopted by a lot of different companies, not just within tech, but even outside of tech, you see a lot of companies adopting machine learning or even data science into their products in order to deliver and make their services much, much better. So this is something which is not only constrained to tech, but in a lot of different industries. So regardless if you are a CS student or if you are you know, already within tech or computer science, if you're in other industries as well, this is a skill which really transcends industries. So this is something that if you're a mechanical engineer or you're working in other fields, you can still make use of machine learning and I'm sure that you're going to see it being used in your field. 
The reason why something like machine learning and data science can be used in almost any field is because it focuses so much on automation and making things which are already there much, much better using automation and making use of data. Now, data is present in almost every single industry and machine learning enables making use of this data in order to automate a lot of different aspects of a product lifecycle. So this is why regardless of whatever career or major that you're in, you can pick up machine learning. And this is something that you could even use in your current field as well. The third skill to learn in 2022 is Web3 development. Now, Web3 development is oftentimes used interchangeably with blockchain development, but there are some major differences between these two. So for instance, a Web3 developer is someone who is integrating existing blockchain technologies into web services. So not necessarily someone who is building blockchain technologies or you know, uh, creating decentralized applications, but someone who is you know, uh, integrating existing decentralized applications and blockchain technology into web services. So one of the most common examples is that nowadays when you actually browse a lot of different websites, you're able to connect your crypto wallet to it when you're actually browsing their website. So this is a very basic example of Web3 development and what a lot of Web3 developers actually do. So for instance, if we look at this job description of a Web3 developer, you notice that it is very similar to web developers and also full stack developers. The only difference is they should have knowledge of blockchain and Web3 foundations. So Web3 developers have this extra knowledge above of, you know, web development, full stack development. They have this extra knowledge in Web3 development and Web3 foundations and blockchain terminologies. So this is a major difference and they are able to integrate existing blockchain technologies, decentralized applications into existing web services. A Web3 developer is going to be extremely important because as we've talked about, blockchain and cryptocurrencies are going to be more and more integrated into a lot of different services that we already have. So a Web3 developer is really going to help with this integration process. There are someone who are going to be people who are going to be able to seamlessly integrate, you know, blockchain technologies and our existing web technologies as well. The fourth skill that you guys should be learning in 2022 is data engineering. So data engineers play a really essential role in a lot of different companies. In fact, all of the roles that I've mentioned in this video, data engineers work alongside a lot of these roles. So data is a really, really huge aspect in a lot of different industries. And hence you need data engineers in almost every single company. You need someone who is managing your database, someone who is managing the structure of your database, etc. Let's take a look at a job description for a data engineer at Samsung. So they are looking for someone who has extensive experience in AWS technologies, EMR, Redshift, etc., and also who has a lot of advanced knowledge in data technologies such as Airflow, Spark, and SQL. It's also important that a data engineer has a lot of skills in data modeling, in ETL development, such as you know extract, transform, and loading of data and also data warehousing. So these are all extremely important skills that a data engineer should know. And the fifth skill that you should be learning in 2022 is augmented reality development and virtual reality development. Now that Facebook and a lot of different companies have made announcements of creating their own metaverse, it's only common that we can expect that a lot of other companies now that you know Facebook already has its Oculus Quest and other headsets for augmented reality, we can expect a lot of other companies to follow suit as well. So what does this mean? It means that they are going to be needing a lot of developers who are specialized in uh, augmented reality and virtual reality to help build these metaverses for them. So there is a lot of demand for these type of developers. 
So let's take a look at this job description for a creative coder, an augmented reality creative coder at Meta. An augmented reality creative coder is someone who provides creative and technical leadership for advanced AR and VR research initiatives and someone who is developing prototypes, uh, proof of concept, uh, prototypes and proof of concepts for real-time and AR solutions. It's also important that they have knowledge on computer graphics and experience in creative coding frameworks such as open frameworks, processing, Cinder, Max, MSP, and Unity 3D. And it's also important that they have knowledge in Spark AR, Spark SL, Lens Studio, and other augmented reality environments and also a knowledge in machine learning and deep learning as well. So guys, 2022 is going to be a major year in tech and these skills, if you're going to be learning them, are going to equip you with knowledge in order to build the infrastructure of the future. So these are extremely useful skills moving forward, not just in 2022, but we can look at it in the next five to 10 years as well. These are some very highly valued skills. So I would definitely recommend picking a skill out of these top five skills that I've suggested and actually learning it. I hope you found this video helpful and make sure to check out the $10,000 MetaCent giveaway in the description box below. And thank you guys for watching and see you in my next video.